A 14-year-old high school student was arrested for bringing a homemade clock into school, a clock that he built himself. Now, this happened in surprisingly in Texas. Uh, now, this uh, this 14-year-old, this teenager, said he was just trying to show off his uh, engineering skill. See, he built this clock over the weekend because he likes taking things apart and putting them back together. He wants to be an engineer. He's, he's deeply into science. And so after he did this, he wanted to show it off to his teacher. So he brought this, uh, this clock in to show his engineering teacher into the uh, Irving, Texas High School, right? So he brought this in. Um, and showed his teachers and was gotten arrested. Now, wait a minute. Why, why would somebody be arrested for bringing in a clock? Well, it's not like his name is Ahmed or anything like that. Oh, wait. Yes, it is. His name is Ahmed Mohammed. You can probably see where this is going. Um, now, this was reported in NPR. Quote, in interviews with local media outlets... The boy, Ahmed Mohammed, said he wanted to show off the engineering teacher what he had done over the weekend. Take about a clock and rebuild it inside a pencil case. Right? But instead of being praised for doing something that is uh, actually kind of astounding. I mean, it's, it's, it's great. It, it's kind of a big thing when you can take something apart, put it back together, and have it work perfectly. That's talent. Now, it didn't exactly go over with his teacher's as well as he had planned. He was suspended after a teacher thought that this clock was actually a bomb. A bomb! According to NPR, this teacher called the police, and the cops ended up picking him up. Now, uh, according to the Dallas Morning News, statements made by Muhammad to the Dallas Morning News, quote, an officer and the principal came in and took me up, and they took me to a room filled with five officers. They interrogated me and searched through my stuff and took my tablet and my invention. Later that day, I was taken to a juvenile detention center where they searched me. They took fingerprints and, and mugshots of me, and they searched me until my parents came, and then I got to leave the building. What the fuck, man? Really? You're going to go through all of that over a clock? Really? A clock? Now... What do, what do the police have to say about this? Well, police spokesman James McClellan said that even though the student, even though Mohammed said, dude, it's a clock, it's not a bomb, it's not a bomb, I, I don't want to blow anybody up, I'm not, it's not a bomb, it's just a clock, I built this over the weekend, I wanted to show my teachers. Well, I said, you know what, uh, there's no broader explanation for what this thing is. Yeah, he said it's not a bomb, but what actually is it? It's a fucking clock you moron. It's a fucking clock. You know what you use a clock for? To tell time. That's what you use a clock for. As for why he created the device, this is actually a question that he asked. What, why did you create this device, and why did you bring it to school? Well, you create the device, he created this, because he was interested in engineering and science. You know who else was interested in engineering science and taking and taking things apart and putting them back together? Steve fucking Jobs. Imagine if Steve Jobs took one of those devices that he tore apart and put back together in school and then got arrested for it. You think there'd be an Apple? Well, there might be. But it might have dissuaded him. You never know. I'm pretty sure he wasn't arrested for this. But when it happens to be a boy, a Muslim boy, named Ahmed Mohammed, suddenly everybody heads explode and everybody loses their shit. And calls the cops. Really. Now as I said. He, he brought it to show his engineering teacher. Now his engineering te teacher. Wasn't the one who called the police. And uh, this is. This is according to Ahmed. How the situation broke down. Now he went and showed it to his engineering teacher. And he said well. That's really nice Ahmed. But I wouldn't show it to anybody else. I would just you know. Keep it to yourself. That's, it's amazing but don't show anybody else. So he didn't. He put it back in his uh, backpack. But in English class, since it is a clock, and since clocks do have alarms, this one had an alarm, and this alarm went off. Right in the middle of English class. Also, the teacher's like, what the hell is that? What, what do you got in your bag, Ahmed? Oh, it's just an alarm clock. Here, you want to see it? 
oh my god, that looks like a fucking bomb. Call the police. That's what she said, too. It looks like a bomb. And he said, I, no, it doesn't look like a bomb to me. Well, yes, it looks like a bomb. Now I'm going to call the cops. <laughs> now, responding to questions about this, the Irving School District released a statement that said, well, students and staff at the school, well, this is standard procedure. If we see anything suspicious, we need to report it. A Muslim kid bringing in a, a clock is somehow suspicious. I wonder how suspicious it would be if anybody else brought anything in. I'm just asking. And the irony about this is that Texas, this has happened in Texas, right? Texas is a place where you can openly carry your guns everywhere you go. That's not suspicious. But a Muslim bringing a clock, that's suspicious. Hmm. They're the dangerous ones. Fascinating. Now, Alia Salem of the Dallas-Fort uh, Worth chapter of the Council on American-Islamic Relations told the local, local news, WFAA, I think this wouldn't even be a question if his name wasn't Ahmed Mohammed. Basically saying, look, they profiled him. They think he's a terrorist because of his name and because of the color of his skin, because of what he looks like. He's an excited kid who is very bright and wants to share this thing with his teachers. And wants to share his, his engineering prowess. This kid's intelligent. He's a smart kid. Especially when it comes to electronics. I and mean, this is amazing. Now as for the situation, I, I think it might have had an impact on this. In the video that he released, he said, Look, th this made me feel like I wasn't even a human being. It made me feel like I was a criminal. Is this what we do to smart kids? To people who show intelligence and creativity and forethought we treat them like criminals apparently that's what we do here it's amazing we look guys guys we gotta fucking stop this okay he's not a fucking jihadi he's an american citizen not everybody who has brown skin or has a name that's ahmed or mohammed or whatever is a fucking terrorist they're just not. Yes, is there a problem with Islamic terrorism? Sure. Absolutely. But not everybody who looks like that, who has that kind of name, is a jihadi. We have to stop being so afraid of other people. As I said, look, you, you, you know one way that you can tell if somebody's not a jihadi? If they're into science and robotics and knowledge. Um... Because that's not exactly something Islamic fundamentalists are into. Remember, they're fundamentalists. They don't believe in science. They don't believe in education. They don't believe in any of that. This kid was wearing a NASA shirt. Love science. Love technology. Pretty sure he's not a jihadi. It's crazy. Now, there is a couple of good things to this. And I want to end this segment on a bit of a higher note. Now, Twitter um, has come to the defense of this bright young man with the Hashtag, I stand with Ahmed. Now, uh, this hashtag has just shown the outpouring of support from Twitter, from the internet community, from people all over America who are like, the, what you did to this kid was wrong. What you're doing was wrong. You're profiling him, and we don't agree with that. Now, there's a tweet that, um, and by the way, at the time of uh, recording this, Right. This is that hashtag has about 40 or 400,000 tweets. And a lot of them, most of them are in solidarity. Now, there is a um, a really good tweet. From Jesse A. Myerson that kind of encapsulates this whole thing. So saying that we mistook the clock for a bomb is a real greasy way of sidestepping the truth. We mistook the kid for a bomb maker. And I think that really kind of sums up how the police and how the teachers reacted. Now, luckily, as I said, most people in America are not reacting the same way. In fact, something that was really awesome, there's been a lot of celebrity outpouring of support as well for Ahmed Mohammed, um, some from Montel Williams, and uh, one from President o Barack Obama. Now, there's an amazing tweet. Take a look at this. Cool clock, Ahmed. Want to bring it to the White House? 
we should inspire more kids like you to like science. It's what it makes America great. Now ask your right winger, they might not agree, but I do. I think people who embrace knowledge, facts, not, uh, logic, and reason are the future of America. That is what makes America great. 